Since the release of the has -Been Hotel pilot back in 2019, one of the most contentious characters has been Alistair. He's a fan favourite, but also has a complicated lore and backstory. In the past few days, a situation has unfolded regarding him, Vivzi's depiction of him, along with recent has -Been trading cards. In this video, I'll create a timeline of what happened, discuss it a little, and provide some concluding thoughts. So, on the 22nd of December, a tweet was made titled, Everyone involved in this is going straight to super hell. The tweet ended up getting 8k likes and 3.9 million views. After this, a conversation was sparked around Alistair and his depiction in the show. One tweet says, If you're a white artist, writer or anything, do not use video at all in your works anymore. Y'all keep effing it up and we gotta take it away. Another says, White people, after being one of the main reasons why voodoo as a religion has a negative stigma of being associated with evil just to appropriate it and misuse it for themselves. One says, Wanted to add that the demonization of voodoo dates back to slavery in the US, emerging out of fear from slaveholders that it would cause the Africans and African Americans then enslaved to rise up against them. Alistair's evil portrayal with Voodoo is a continuation of the demonization started by slaveholders 200 plus years ago. This should not be tolerated. People aren't calling this out because they're sensitive or want attention. They are calling this out because this is a genuine racist portrayal of a minority group, culture and religion. One tweet says, Vivzi Pop said she would dial back on the Voodoo sigils out of respect, basically saying that Vivzi should have used fictional symbols. There were also tweets that brought up Alistair's design. Many Twitter users created their own fan redesigns of Alistair. So, from these tweets, the general consensus is that Vivzi's depiction of Alistair is problematic for a couple of reasons. The first being Alistair's design. Alistair is canonically half Creole, but to some users they say his design doesn't reflect his culture or race enough. The second is his links with Voodoo. Voodoo is a closed religion, so you need permission to practice it. So, it's unlikely that Vivzi got permission to depict Voodoo in this way. And lastly, there's some criticism because of the depiction of Voodoo in the shows, such as Alistair's trading card featuring real life Voodoo symbols. There is also a scene where Charlie mocks Alistair's Voodoo. She says, no tricks or Voodoo strings attached. So basically people are saying that Vivzi and the show are stereotyping the religion as something negative. Following these discussions, people began to label Vivzi and the shows as racist. One such example being a TikTok that racked up over 60k likes with the caption, me when Vivzi Pop is actually like racist and I could finally hate her unabashedly. The TikTok was eventually deleted. Comparisons started to be made about Alistair and his similarities to Dr. Facilier with tweets pointing out the depictions of both characters. One tweet was made saying, I don't give a fuck if you guys like has been or whatever the fuck, but if I see y'all defending the racist and anti-black decisions made by the show's writers, I'm blocking you. You guys should be able to recognize when something is worthy of criticism with your favorite media, no excuses. Allegedly, Vivzi Pop blocked the user after this tweet, which started more discussion. People started to mention how Vivzi responds to criticism and uses Twitter in general. Others said that the issue should have been addressed by Viv. One example being a tweet featuring an edited 4chan meme template saying, Gets criticized once, dies. Again, poking fun at the way Viv responds to situations. Another quote retweet says, Well, that's a wrap, folks. She's very much well aware and doesn't give a fuck about people of colour. Allegedly, the new voice actor of Alistair, Amir Talai, was sent harassment on Twitter. One Twitter user was also sent death threats over some tweets made about the situation. A little later, a Twitter thread was made titled, Due to the, er, uh, controversy, here is a thread of Vizzy Pop's lovely people of colour character designs in her franchises. The thread features various designs from Viv's projects, ranging from Zephobia to Hell of a Boss. The thread was quoted with, None of the background characters in Hell of a Boss are hers, they're all done by her background artists. Give credit to them, not her, which received over six K likes. On the 25th, a tweet was made saying, How is anyone surprised that Viv makes racist stereotypes when she posts on her Instagram? Her enjoying Starbucks, McDonald's, and KFC, companies that support the genocide of Palestine. Girly doesn't even care about real people of colour. So, that's everything covered so far. As for my thoughts, I think it's an incredibly complex issue. Myself and many others aren't experts on these topics, so it's not necessarily our place to make a definitive statement on the matter. There definitely is some discussion to be had, and I think it's good to discuss this criticism in a positive manner. Unfortunately, there was harassment and death threats being thrown around, and it's completely uncalled for. People should be able to discuss these ideas without being sent harassment. With the show releasing in January and the trading cards already out, it means these sort of discussions will continue into the future, and it's unlikely that anything will be changed. So that's everything I wanted to talk about. If you have any thoughts on the situation, I'd love for you to leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.